today we will be replacing the front brake pads and rotors on a GMC Envoy. Ooh. We'll also be answering the question, are coated rotors really worth the extra money? And are slotted rotors necessary on a car that is used strictly for commuting? For this replacement you will need the following. 14 and 18 millimeter impact socket, two AC Delco rotors, two AC Delco brake pads, a C-clamp, brake cleaner, PB blaster, jack and jack stands, breaker bar, socket, or impact wrench. Spray the two 14 millimeter bolts with PB blaster. GM used yellow thread locker on these bolts, so it may require an impact wrench or breaker bar to loosen. First remove the 14 millimeter guide pin bolts. Remove the caliper from the brake pads and place it on the frame of the car. Be careful not to damage the brake lines. Remove the brake pads. You should be able to see the wear indicator in the middle of the pad. If the line is not visible, your pads are well past worn. Inspect the guide pins for damage. Guide pins should be lubricated. If your guide pins are dry or rusted, they will need replacement. If, if boots are cracked or torn, they will also need replacement. Next, remove the two 18mm bolts and hold the bracket onto the rotor. It may require a breaker bar or impact wrench. If the rotor is rusted onto the hub assembly, you can use a sledgehammer or rubber mallet to knock the rotor off. Make sure not to hit any other part of the hub assembly. Rotors are shipped with cosmoline-like pr protective coating that prevents them from rusting while sitting in warehouses. Remove the coating with brake cleaner. Place the new rotors onto the hub assembly. Make sure the removable lines up. Here's a comparison of ceramic pads with seven years and seven and seven seven and seventy thousand miles. <laughs> seven. 777,000, 7 years and 7 miles. <laughs> Here's a comparison of ceramic pads with 7 years and 70,000 miles versus new ceramic pads. One of the guide pins bushings had rust inside of the guide pin hole, which require a hammer and screwdriver to remove. Clean out the, the caliper guide pin holes with brake cleaner. Grease up the new guide pins and fit them with their new boots.
Place the bracket back onto the assembly and tighten the 18mm bolts. Torque. 210 foot pounds, as stated by the Haynes manual. Install the new brake pads into the bracket. Open your brake reservoir to allow air to push out from the cylinder. Place the old bags within caliber bracket and use a C-clamp to compress the piston down which will allow the new thicker pads to fit within the caliper. Place the caliper onto the brake pads. Tighten the two 14mm bolts into the guide pins. Torque to 31 foot pounds as they in the hand signal. Since the wheel is still off, this will take an opportunity to clean out the inside of your wheel. Are coated rotors really worth the extra money? Yes. If you drive roads that are salted in the winters and plan on keeping your car for more than 5 years, coated rotors are worth it. Keep in mind, the area that the brake pads make contact with will remove the coating, but when frequently used, your brake pads remove rust from a portion of the rotor every time you apply the brakes. The coating protects the parts of the rotors that do not make contact with the pads. Install the tire back onto the wheel assembly. Lower the jack and remove stand jack stands. Torque the lug nuts to the recommended 103 foot-pounds of torque. Are slotted rotors necessary on a car that is used strictly for commuting? No. Slotted rotors were created to dissipate heat faster for, for vehicles that drive with high speeds and endure aggressive braking as a result, such as vehicles used on a racetrack. Slotted rotors will dissipate heat quicker, but will not make a noticeable difference on a pedestrian vehicle. The parts and prices are listed below. Warren Review saved a total of $374 on this repair. For reviews of the products used in this video, check the links in the description. Thanks for watching.